2014 marks the 70th anniversary of the Normandy landings, scene of the largest seaborne invasion ever mounted and a key point in ending World War II. D-Day like on June 6, 1944, saw an armada of nearly 7,000 vessels cross the Channel, as more than 130,000 British, American and Canadian troops invaded Hitler's fortress Europe and brought about the freedom we enjoy today. Seventy years on, a pilgrimage to Normandy's beaches and battlefields is as popular as ever, with the last remaining veterans, alongside younger generations, paying tribute to those who gave their lives. As well as a series of commemorative events, there are museums, monuments and exhibits to visit year-round, where you can experience history for real, and learn more about the day that turned the tide of war. From Pegasus Bridge near Weistrum, named after the brave British airborne forces, to the remains of the Mulberry Harbours at Aramorsh, towed across the channel to facilitate unloading of troops and equipment. And the cemeteries, where those who gave their lives are remembered. At Bayeux, a very different invasion is remembered at the magnificent Tapestry Museum, which depicts William, Duke of Normandy's conquest of Britain in 1066. Today, the region is easily accessible via the ports of Caen and Cherbourg and offers visitors a choice of places to stay, excellent food, lush countryside and grand beaches. Spring, summer or autumn, Normandy welcomes visitors to appreciate its past and to celebrate its present.